It's Mindy here to show you how to make a cut paper flamingo. Supplies that you're going to need will include two pieces of paper, one in pink and one in yellow, a black marker, I'm using a sharpie but you don't have to, you can use Crayola or anything that you have, scissors, and a glue stick. So we're going to start with a piece of pink paper and your black marker and you're going to start close to this left edge of your paper, about right here, and you're going to make an S shape. Like that. So the top of the S is going to be your flamingo's head. We're going to make that an oval. And the bottom of your S shape is going to be your flamingo's body. So we're going to make this a great big oval. Like that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw the neck. So the neck's going to come down like this and like this. It doesn't matter if your lines aren't perfect because none of this is going to show. This is the back. So that's your flamingo's body. The next thing you want to do is cut this out. All right, so the flamingo body is looking the way I want it to. Now I need to draw the beak. So I'm gonna flip my flamingo so that it's backwards again. And I'm gonna position the head just so that I can draw the beak and see that it's going to fit with my head right. So the beak kind of tips down like this. A flamingo beak looks different than other kinds of birds. It'll look like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And I'm going to glue it to my flamingo head. So there's my flamingo with the beak. And next my flamingo needs some legs. So using the yellow paper and the black marker again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the back of the flamingo. I'm going to draw, I think I'm gonna use this piece over here. I'm going to draw one really long leg. And then the foot at the bottom is a little triangular shaped but it's webbed. So it's gonna look like that. And I'm gonna use the edge of this paper as the other side of my leg. So now I can cut that out. And actually, I don't love the way I did the leg. I want it to be a little bit skinnier, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it. If you want, you can draw a line first, or if you feel comfortable just cutting, go ahead. Okay, I like that much better. So there's my flamingo's leg. And now I'm gonna draw the other one. This one will be in the front, and I'm gonna draw the back one that's gonna Bend. It's going to have a bent knee right here and the foot will hang down. So I want to make sure it looks about the same size as my other one. Again, I'm going to flip everything over and use the backs to draw the lines. So if I'm making it the same size as the other one, I want this top part 
to be about half as long as this one. And then I want the bottom part to be about half as long so that it looks like it's bent in the middle. And then I'm gonna draw the other side of the leg. I'm gonna draw it skinnier this time because I didn't like the way it looked the first time. And then the foot kind of comes down like this. And I wanted to make sure it's the same size as my other foot. So it'll look something like that. When you have yours drawn, you can go ahead and cut it out. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna flip everything over, see how it looks. Don't wanna see those messy lines. Alright, and when everything is the way I like it, I go ahead and I glue it together. So there's our flamingo. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here, and it looks like now that it's drying, it's sticking up a little bit. Make that flat. That looks better. And then when everything is glued, I'm going to do the details. I like the way the black outline looks, so I'm going to go ahead and give this whole thing an outline. And then I'm going to add some details like the eye and the black parts on the flamingo's beak. And the last thing is, I think this flamingo needs a wing. And there it is, your cut paper flamingo. Thanks for watching.